Hello and welcome to this three minute revision video by Mighton School Science on food webs and interdependence. Today we're going to look at the roles within an ecosystem. We're going to have a recap of food chains and how they're different to food webs. And we're also going to have a look at what interdependence is and how it affects an ecosystem. So let's get started. The three main roles within an ecosystem we need to know are as follows. A producer that produces its own food. Usually we're talking about green plants by photosynthesis, but we can also talk about types of bacteria and phytoplankton as well. The second one is a consumer, and a consumer is any organism, usually animals, but there are a few examples of plants that have to eat to survive. Okay, this isn't by photosynthesis. This is an organism that cannot produce their own food. So when you hear herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores, these are all examples of a consumer. And the third and final one is a decomposer. And a decomposer is an organism that breaks down dead or decaying material to use as its food. Um, the general examples for this will be bacteria or fungi. So those are the three parts um, or three roles within an ecosystem. Let's have a recap of food chains. Now, food chains are a very simple way to show how energy moves between producers and then the consumers within an ecosystem. So my example here, we've got grass that's eaten by a caterpillar, which is eaten by a blackbird. That's a simple food chain. But what this shows us is that we have energy created by the producer is then passed to the caterpillar when the caterpillar eats the grass, which is then passed to the blackbird when the blackbird eats the caterpillar. Now, this is different to a food web because food webs include all the producers and all the consumers within an ecosystem, and they're much more complicated, although this one's still pretty simple. We start the same. We've got our producer, which is our grass, but this time, more realistic, it's eaten by two primary consumers. The first consumers, a caterpillar and the ladybird. This is then passed on to a spider that eats the ladybird and the caterpillar, but we also have the blackbird involved as well. And the blackbird can eat the caterpillar, the spider, or the ladybird. So we have lots of different ways for energy to move through this ecosystem. And that's a really important when we talk about something called interdependence. And the definition for interdependence is the mutual dependence between all organisms in an ecosystem, which is basically saying they all rely on each other to survive. If something happens to anything within this food web, there will be consequences. Animals will die or, or populations will increase. So our example is the caterpillars are wiped out by a pesticide. What's going to happen to the other organisms in this ecosystem? We might find that if caterpillars are wiped out from this um, food web, spiders and blackbirds will not have as much food together. So they'll probably be eating more of the ladybird. So the ladybird population is going to suffer. This video has looked at roles within an ecosystem, recap food chains and, and linked it to why it's different to a food web, but also looked at interdependence within an ecosystem and why it's important.